And then we're just gonna sit here for 15 minutes. Uh, I'm in too deep on the footage. I'm in too deep. As 
not hide who I was anymore. And more than anything, I was afraid. I was truly afraid that from both the staff and my peers, I'd be seen as a freak or disgusting or wrong. But I came back to the school and coming out, being who I was, I found all of you guys. <laughs> I found people who were supportive, who were kind, compassionate. I found people who understood whether they were like me or they were just compassionate people who understood I have a right to be who I am and for no one else to ever say that besides me. And the, this policy, it's, anyway, this policy obviously is not along the same lines. It's harmful, it's hurtful, it's painful. So many people, how many of you know a trans person? or a friend of one. Alright, so all of you can see, this has an impact on all of us, every single one of us. But I'm glad to see you all here. It's easy. Things can seem dark, and this policy, Obviously, the intent here is to take away our voices. We are being told who we are by our parents, by the government, how we should be identified, how we should be treated. And we're not going to stand for that. All of you are here today to say, I will not let anyone speak for me. I will speak for myself. We're not going to have a future for all of us built on this discrimination, this hatred, this pain. We are going to make a future with built on the same kindness and compassion all of you have shown me and all of my peers. So truly, from the bottom of my heart, all of you, thank you. It's like a bag full. Give me push. Let's go. I, I want to get a footage of everyone here. David. I don't want to see you. I want to. Bro, look at how many people. Bro, what the fuck? 